Well, hello, God bless you today, Bishop Patrick L. Wooden, seeing you here. I'm excited. I pray that your day is going well. My friends, I'm excited about the, the things that God is doing and the direction that the Lord is taking uh, the ministry in, where the Lord is taking us, and what God has for you. Now, with all that we see in the news all the things that we see in society with all of the changes and the turmoil and the upheavals, uh, the elections, the 24 hour uh, news cycle, uh, this and that, uh, all of the things that are going on. I pray to God that you are filled with the Holy Ghost, because let me tell you something. God's spirit, God, the Holy Ghost, God, the Holy Spirit is a keeper. And in these last days, uh, amen, in these last days, we need the Holy Ghost. We need the, the, the agency of the third person in the Godhead, God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit operating on the inside of us. Yes, there is one God eternally existing in three persons, God, the Father, God, the Son, and God, the Holy Ghost. And you know, my friends, uh, the Bible says uh, in the in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the Bible teaches that the earth was void. Something happened to it. That was an explosion of some sort. It's called Satan's flood. And uh, uh, the earth was void and without form and dark, but you know what? The Bible teaches and the spirit of God moved upon the face of the water. Well, I want you to know that the spirit of God is moving today. And if the church is to carry out God's kingdom agenda, we've got to be filled and refilled with the Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit will refresh your mind. The Holy Spirit will revive you from the inside out and the outside in. The Holy Spirit gives you endurance. The Holy Spirit gives us hope. The Holy Spirit gives us power. Oh my God, to cast devils out, to overcome, to win in these last days. It is the agency of the Holy Holy Ghost, who will keep you from being worn down, worn out, beaten, battered, and defeated by life's ups and downs and, and by the opposition of Satan and all that will come our way. When you get filled with God, the Holy Ghost, he gives us power to draw water from the wells of salvation, from the wells of deliverance. God has so much deliverance, so much power, so much for us. But I believe this, that, that, that it is through the Holy Ghost, through the agency of the Holy Spirit. And I want you to know, my friends, as I heard someone say, and I'm closing for now, uh, the Holy Ghost was not, and he is not, uh, a consolation prize for the believer. He's not someone that Jesus left here. Uh, Jesus's position wasn't, well, since you can't have me, then you can have the Holy Spirit and he'll just keep me till I come. No, Jesus said to his disciples, it is expedient for you that I go away. For if I go not away, then the comforter will not come. The Holy Ghost is our advantage. Jesus actually said, it is to your advantage that I go to be with the Father. Because when I go and, and, uh, and I'm with the Father, I will send the Holy Spirit unto you. Thank God for being filled with the Holy Ghost. There's one filling, but many refillings. And I pray, my friends, that that you will come out tonight. Members of the church, meet me on time here uh, at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. And those of you uh, who do not feel comfortable for whatever reason to come out, join us on Facebook Live, YouTube Live. And we thank God for the, 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 the number of subscribers, those who are faithful to this ministry, who join us online. Uh, you're from all over. Many of you you can't be here, and yet you're here. And the way you pray for me, I want you to know, I feel your prayers. 
I was told by uh, uh, my executive assistant and uh, and by uh, our office assistant that people are calling and they want to know how can they contribute. Thank you so much for your gifts. Thank you for your prayers. When you send us money like that, we put it all back into the ministry that we might continue to go forth and to do the ministry of our Lord. So tonight, 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 I want you to meet me right here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, whether you're here in person, whether you're here online, you've got to be here for Bible study. Yes, Bible study. We're not going to have a concert. Praise the Lord. We will have praise and worship. Uh, there'll be no fun and games. Uh, we're going to study the scriptures together. I tell you, I want to tell you just a little bit about uh, what I want to talk to you about. Well, well, you know I'm going to be talking about the Holy Spirit. So why don't we wait and, and we'll just save it for tonight and uh, we're going to hear from God as the man of God delivers to you the word of the Lord as we study God's word together. I'll see you here. God bless. <laughs> 